begin once the class gardener arrives from planting the ivy. <laughs> Welcome to the class of 2018's Ivy Exercises. I'm Jack Greenberg, I'm secretary of the class, and on behalf of all of the class officers, I want to extend my greatest thanks that you have decided to join us for this occasion. While much of this week has been dedicated to the celebration of our class and all we have done here together, tomorrow's festivities will certainly reflect such, we are gathered here today to recognize the individual accomplishments of the members of this class and some of the people who helped make these achievements possible. Dean of College Marlene Sandstrom will begin the festivities by announcing this year's winners of the Olmsted Prize, recognizing outstanding secondary school teachers to the graduating class who played influential roles in their lives and learning, ahead of awarding many individual commendations, recognizing excellence both in the academic realm as well as the community more broadly. Nevertheless, this event is not solely for prizes. Our class gardener, Jonah Levy, has already raised the golden shovel above his head, having successfully planted the class ivy at West College just a few moments ago. Class poet Jordan Jace will treat us to an original work. Class historian Daniel Mays will present a narrative of our class and our time here. And we will be treated to an exceptional musical performance by our class musician Anna Deloy, joined by Abigail Soloway. As we proceeded into the ceremony, we were led in part by our class banner designed by our wonderful class artist, Justin Sardo. And at the end of the ceremony, a few of my colleagues and the class officers, uh, Elizabeth Cromack, Elizabeth Sullivan, and Lucy Putnam, will head up to Thompson Memorial Chapel to drop the watch and ensure good luck for our class in the years to come. <laughs> All of this was made possible today by the exceptional work of College Marshal Jay Toman, Director of Commencement and Academic Events Carrie Green, Commencement Coordinator Veronica Bosley, and the exceptional folks in the Facilities Department. We are thrilled that you can partake in this event, and without further ado, please join me in welcoming Dean of College Marlene Sandstrom. Thank you, Jack, and welcome Class of 2018. Thank you so much. Uh, I want to acknowledge that this day is your event. It's organized by your class officers. And I'm here at the invitation of the class officers. It is really a pleasure and a privilege for me to join you to share these moments of surprise and celebration. And I want to especially thank the class officers, Elizabeth, Elizabeth, Lucy, Jenny, Jack and Michael for inviting me here today and also for organizing this event and all of the other events that make up Senior Week. It is an enormous amount of work, so please join me in recognizing your class officers. And it is our tradition to start Ivy Exercises with the awarding of the Olmsted Prizes. To honor superior teaching, and to acknowledge with pleasure our partnership with other educators in America, Williams College annually selects distinguished secondary school teachers as recipients of the George Olmsted Jr. Class of 1924 Prize for Excellence in Secondary School Teaching. We invite the winners of the prizes to the college as our special guests on this commencement weekend. The fund for these awards was established in 1983 through the estate of Mr. Olmsted, class of 1924, as well as through gifts of his wife, Frances Olmsted, of Chestnut Hill, Massachusetts. Each recipient receives a $3,000 prize, and an additional award of $5,000 is made to each of their schools. The teachers are nominated by members of the senior class and the winners are selected by a faculty student committee, chaired this year by Robert Savage, professor of biology. Also serving on the selection committee were Julie Blackwell, assistant professor of mathematics, 
Jeremy Cohn, Assistant Professor of Psychology, Man He, Assistant Professor of Chinese, Maggie Driscoll, Secretary to the Committee, and three members of the class of 2019, Alexandra Griffin, Tucker Limos, and Tess Zakaria. In a moment, I'm going to uh, honor and welcome our guest. I just wanted to acknowledge before we started that we have a special guest with us today, George, George Olmsted III, son of, of George Olmsted, class of 1924. This is George, George Olmsted, class of 1955, carrying on our legacy. And also the proud grandfather of a graduate. So first, we'd like to honor Mr. Jeff Hess, teacher of English and coach at the South Eugene High School in Eugene, Oregon, nominated by Jacob Citronbaum. In Jacob's nomination essay, he writes, Jeff created the integrated outdoor program partly as a program to enable students to connect their learning more with the world around them. And in the process, he has built a place where anyone can succeed, regardless of prior experience with physical endeavors or literary analysis. Jeff, above all, requires student engagement. Projects in English allowed for various ways of interacting with literature, not just one. In outdoor adventuring, one just has to try. Jeff expects students to try hard and to improve, and he believes they can. He does an amazing job of affirming the efforts of students who face their fears of interacting with the outdoors and who push themselves to do better than before, especially if that means biking 10 minutes without resting instead of eight or writing three coherent pages instead of two. Jeff, in your letter to the Olmsted Committee, you say, in this, my 30th year of teaching, I still make it a priority to start every day fresh with every student. Regardless of what transpired yesterday, particularly if it was negative, I believe that each student will be engaged, try hard, and learn today. My job is to keep the subject matter interesting and to find a way for each student to connect with it. For some, that might mean the beginning of a lifetime of writing, teaching, running, or rock climbing. For others, it might mean a flicker of recognition that they are capable of getting out of their comfort zone and growing from their experience. According to Andy Day, the principal at South Eugene High School, Jeff has also been one of the most respected cross-country and track coaches in the state of Oregon known for writing individual daily workouts for every single person on his team, even when his team held more than 100 members. He won multiple 6A State Coach of the Year awards and coached more than 40 athletes to individual state titles. According to his athletes, Jeff built relationships with all of them and pushed his runners to compete against themselves and find ways to improve individually. Jacob's letter continues, Jeff taught me about being true to myself and holding myself to high standards in all that I do, not because it makes me better than someone else, but because it makes me better than I was before. Even more importantly, he taught many of the kids who could never get into Williams that there was still a place for them at our high school. He showed us fun and constructive ways in which we could engage with the world and learn to see ourselves as capable and valuable. On this occasion, Mr. Hess, Williams College is proud to award you the George Olmsted, Jr. Class of 1924 Prize for Excellence in Secondary School Teaching. Mr. Justin C. Maya, Teacher of Religious Studies, National Cathedral School in Washington, D.C., nominated by Johanna Wasserman. In 
In your letter to the Olmsted Committee, Justin, you write, philosophy can become a profession rather than a pursuit of truth. Religious studies can be a pleasurable diversion. On the other hand, I discovered some things that were of such value to me that I felt compelled to pass them along. Not answers so much as questions. Not knowledge so much as experience. Not content so much as relationship. I was lucky to have sat at the foot of teachers who made religious studies interdisciplinary, multicultural, and experiential. I quickly discovered that this field is the perfect vehicle for helping students along their paths of self and world discovery. About you, Kathleen O'Neill Jameson, the head of school at Nath National Cathedral, writes, he tells stories that are breathtaking and stay with students forever. He communicates the beauty of history and religion for teenagers hungry for challenge. His lessons provoke mature thought and empower students. He engages students in discussions of the most profound human experiences of life, love, and faith. He believes religious studies allows for the most rigorous of challenges, since so often our personal values are challenged. He uses the opportunity to promote justice and service and leadership. Johanna Wassermann, your Williams nominator, writes in her nominating letter, while Mr. Maya taught intro to religious studies, he was really known for his course, Good and Evil. I had seen the assignments from Good and Evil populate the walls of Mr. Maya's classrooms many times. And while I knew the class had plenty of evil, I wasn't sure when the good would show up. The course ended up being as powerful as I'd expected it to be. But we only spent a few weeks at the end of the term on good, like Gandhi, meditation, and human resilience. For most of the semester, we looked at the darkest parts of humanity. But Mr. Maya taught us to look at it deliberately. In teaching us to look deliberately at evil, Mr. Maya gave us the exact tools we needed to combat it. On this occasion, Mr. Maya, Williams College is proud to award you the George Olmsted Jr. Class of 1924 Prize for Excellence in Secondary School Teaching. Mr. Chad Soyek, Sheboygan North High School, Sheboygan, Wisconsin, nominated by Molly Knaler. In Molly's nomination essay, she writes, his classes were known to be challenging and to push students to be more independent. He expected maturity and critical thinking. As my time at Williams comes to a close, I can still say that Mr. Soyek was the single most influential teacher in my education. I have had the courage to take tutorials each year and engage in difficult discussions that challenge my values because of the skills he helped me cultivate. Molly's letter continues. Mr. Soyek incorporated open-ended questions and creative projects. After reading collections of short stories, we wrote our own. After studying how art manifested the ideals of society, we created art that represented today's ideals. After studying the way films create themes and emotion, we made our own short films. My high school struggled with student engagement due to large class size, high poverty rates in the student body, and other factors. Mr. Soyek recognized that freedom to explore our budding independent interests increased our investment in our own learning. Chad, in your letter to the Olmsted Committee, you say, literature and art is not drudgery. It is a window to the grandest answers and questions of the human experience. The resonance of realizing that power can be life altering, and I use myself as a living example to my classes on a regular basis. Public education is the foundation of a healthy democracy, and it is beset on all sides by challenges in our modern context. 
Currently, I volunteer for local political action groups pushing back against the relentless attacks against public education and remain a, vo a vocal advocate of public schools. My individual values and professional philosophy are aligned, synthesized, and inseparable. In the end, I know all my students desperately want to succeed. In the end, I know all my students desperately want to belong. I remain devoted to those ideals. According to John Matizak, the principal at Sheboygan North, Mr. Soyk embodies the true meaning of a committed, lifelong learner. He is constantly reflecting on his craft, as well as taking on new challenges. He strives to help his colleagues develop solutions to help meet the complex needs of our students. His classroom environment is warm, inviting, and relationship-driven. To me, this is a clear sign of an educator who understands the big picture by asking himself, if I don't make a positive difference in this child's life, who will? On this occasion, Mr. Soyek, Williams College is proud to award you the George Olmsted Jr. Class of 1924 Prize for Excellence in Secondary School Teaching. Ms. Giovanna Termini, Teacher of History, Hunter College High School, New York, New York, nominated by Marissa Shapiro. <laughs> Giovanna, you wrote in your letter to us, the more I teach, the more I realize good teaching is not about the information or stories I bring to a room of students. I believe student curiosity and determination should drive inquiry. These two values are currently informing my definition of good teaching. I try to create experiences that allow for authentic learning and skill building. This had not been an easy path for me. Coming from a rigorous graduate school experience that valued information collection and ownership, I began my career thinking that teaching was telling kids about all the cool stuff I learned in an organized, clear, and engaging way. But learning to be quiet when students are wrong and to let students build meaning is a skill I am seeking to master. I think my work at museums has informed this practice of genuine, open-ended inquiry. Talking to people, children, adults, and the elderly about how works of art allow them to make connections reminds me of the power of objects to make meaning for people. Objects brought me to teaching, and they inform many of my lessons still today. Dr. Tony Fisher, principal at Hunter College High, where you've taught since 2001, writes, as a teacher, she is known to be extremely demanding, but she's able to convey her deep belief in her students' ability to achieve at the highest level, her joy in being their teacher, her investment in their success, and her willingness to put in whatever extra time they need to help them succeed. She is a tireless advocate for her own students and for all students. Marissa Shapiro, your nominating senior, writes, Miss Termini, who came to teach at my high school after a career as a curator at the Metropolitan Museum of Art, shows her students how to think like historians and to connect what they learn in school with their lived experiences. She was one of the most challenging teachers I've ever had and prepared me to think big and take academic risks during my college career. Not only does Ms. Termini encourage her students to consider history rigorously, she pushes them to attack their previous assumptions about the subject at hand and believes in their ability to construct strong arguments and research papers. In her class, I learned how to be an independent thinker and to advocate for myself. I want to be a teacher who is just like her, a supportive presence who believes in her students' capabilities as independent thinkers. Ms. Termini established the kind of classroom culture that I dream of one day having, a space where history comes alive, where learning is exciting, and where students are treated as intellectuals. On this occasion, Ms. Termini, Williams College is proud to award you the George Olmsted Jr. Class of 1924 Prize for Excellence in Secondary School Teaching.
congratulations to all of our Olmsted recipients. Good afternoon, Williams College. So those that do not know me, my name is Michael Kidd Phillips. I'm from the great Garden State of New Jersey. But on campus, uh, the corny joke I always tell is since there's a lot of Michaels, I always have the luxury to lose my name, and that's why I go by KP. And I'm conflicted because after graduation, I don't know if I'm going to tell my employers if they should call me KP or Michael. But I am the vice president to the class of 2018. <laughs> and today, please, inter well, please join me in welcoming Jordan Jace, class poet, to the podium. Thank you guys so much um, for having me do this. <laughs> I'll read the poem now. Uh, <laughs> it's titled Lighten. Uh, in a dream, an art project, a whole ocean drained and put elsewhere. You were not in charge of that, though, just the breaking and transporting of glass, the now empty basin, a new mausoleum of shards, the reflections so bright and varying, the sky was replaced with a new sky. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Jenny Wheeler, and I am co-president of the class of 2018. Um, thank you, Jordan, for your poem. Now, please welcome back up to the podium, Dean Marlene Sandstrom to award prizes to the members of our graduating class. I now have the honor and pleasure of announcing a number of prizes recognizing outstanding achievement by members of the class of 2018 in a variety of academic, athletic, and co-curricular activities. Before I do that, I will also acknowledge those of you who have received national awards and Williams College fellowships. So first, I take great pleasure in announcing the fellowships won by members of this senior class in national competitions. May I ask the recipients of these fellowships to stand for our acknowledgement and remain standing until I've read all the national fellowship recipients. We will try to hold our applause until all of the national fellowships have been recognized. We might not be able to, but we'll try. <laughs> First, Congress Bundestag Youth Exchange for Young Professionals, Sophie Wunderlich. The French Ministry of Education Teaching Assistantship, Elizabeth Saxa. This year, we had an astounding 19 recipients of the Fulbright Grant. Tamar Eisenberg, Daisy Banta, Jocelyn Barahona, Jackson Barber. Andrew Blaniars, <laughs> Stephanie Caridad, <laughs> Benjamin Decker, Elisa Dotton, <laughs> Charles Jersey, <laughs> Juliet Kelso, <laughs> Molly Knadler, <laughs> Ariel Rawlings, <laughs> Caroline Ryan, Noemi Sepulveda, Marissa Shapiro, Jacob Sperber, Darla Torres, Fung Va, and Jamie Wu. This year, we had a recipient for the Gates Cambridge Scholarship, Cynthia Okoye. Recipient of the Knight Hennessy Scholarship, Bing Yi Wan. A recipient of the National Science Foundation Fellowship, Su Min Iyer. The Taiwan Ministry of Education Mandarin Scholarship, 
Ezekiel King Phillips, and the Thomas J. Watson Fellowship, Robert Hefferon. Congratulations to all of you. I know you'll go on to do great things with those incredible fellowships. I next have a list of Williams College fellowships that have been won by members of the graduating class and have already been awarded. May I ask the recipients of these fellowships to stand for our acknowledgement. The class of 1945 Florence Chandler Fellowship, two recipients this year, Daniel Kirsch and Catherine Tan. The Horace F. Clark 1833 Prize Fellowship, Carlos Malacha. The Allison Davis Research Fellowship, Nomi Francois. Ayami Hatanaka, Carlos Malacha, Anika Mitchell, and Kiana West. The Hubbard Hutchinson Class of 1917 Memorial Fellowships, Stephen I, our class poet, Jordan Jace, Nicole Perez, John Rodriguez, and Alexandra Scarangella. The Jeffrey Owen Jones 1966 Fellowship in Journalism, Francesca Paris. The Charles Bridgen Lansing 1829 Fellowship in Latin and Greek, two recipients, Lila Anderson, and Sung Hwang Yo. The Alan Martin and Carol A. Wilson Fellowship, Carolyn McCardle. The Mellon Mays Undergraduate Fellowship, Gabriella Carmona, Ezekiel King Phillips, Daniel Mays, and Noah Wright. The Ruckman Fellowship, two recipients, Jack Greenberg and Eric Muskoski. The Dr. Herschel Smith Fellowship, Noah Betts Richmond, Krista Galev, Eleanor Lustig, Jonathan Mung, Samuel Reinert, Thomas Riley, Samuel Swire, and Sung Hwang Yo. The Frederick Eugene Stratton 1871 Fellowship in Biology, two recipients this year, Michael Chen and Rebecca Smith. And finally, the Williams Teaching Fellowship, United College, Chinese University of Hong Kong, two recipients, Sanya Mittal and Dawn Wu. Congratulations to all of you. I now have the honor and ple pleasure of acknowledging, and in some cases, I believe, surprising those of you who have won prizes. Two bits of instruction to those of you whose names I read. First, if I call your name, please stand briefly to receive the adulation and the admiration of the assembled. And second, if you have won a prize, you should proceed to the Peresky Center foyer after the dropping of the watch to pick up your prize. A word of instruction to everyone else. As you can see from the program, I'll be announcing the awards in three parts during the ceremony and at a pretty fast clip. Please, as best you can, save up our applause for all of our winners until the conclusion of each section. Don't worry, I will signal when it is time to applaud. <laughs> one last thing, there is one prize that I am not awarding today. 
That's the William Bradford Turner Prize, the college's most distinguished citizenship prize. This prize is traditionally awarded at commencement, and so <coughs> President Majumder will present that prize tomorrow. Okay, on to the prizes. We're starting with the Francis Sessions Hutchins Class of 1900 Fellowship Prize. And here I quote from the original deed of gift. To a senior who gives promise through personality and mental or moral qualities of being a useful, worthy, and lovable citizen. And let me emphasize that last part, lovable citizen. We have two winners of the Hutchins Prize this year. Cla Claudia Forrester and Jocelyn Barahona. Next, <laughs> the John Sabin Adrian's Class of 1882 Prize in Chemistry. To the student who has maintained the highest rank in all courses in chemistry. Jonathan Mung. The Charles R. Alberti Class of 1919 Award, established in 1994 by gifts from his son and grandson, Charles R. Alberti, Class of 50, and C. Christopher Alberti, Class of 75. An annual cash prize for a member of the student body who has significantly enhanced the sense of community on campus and who has the potential for doing so in wider communities in the future. This year's recipient of the Alberti Award goes to Ayami Hatanaka. <laughs> the Robert G. Barrow Memorial Prize for Music Composition. Established in 1989 in memory of Robert Barrow, professor of music at Williams from 1939 to 76, to be awarded to a qualified music student on the basis of accomplishment in music composition at Williams College and on showing promise of a composer. This year's winner, John Hood. The Olga R. Beaver Memorial Prize in Mathematics. From a fund established in 2013 by a group of friends and family in memory of Ollie Beaver, professor of mathematics. Awarded to a student for extraordinary contributions to mathematics or statistics. This year's winner, Isabella Hong. <laughs> The Michael David Bell Prize. This prize, established by Michael David Bell, professor of English and American literature, annually recognizes the best essay on a topic in American literature. The essay can be a senior honors thesis or any other outstanding American literature essay submitted by a Williams student. This year's winner, Jasper Burgett. The Erastus C. Benedict Class of 1821 Prizes. Endowed by a fund given by Erastus C. Benedict, Class of 1821, once an instructor at the college. The prizes are given in a variety of fields to recognize excellence. In biology, first prize, Jocelyn Barahona. In biology, second prize, Erica Chang. In classics, in Greek particularly, Lila Anderson. In French, Andrea Rodas and Jack Shrupp. In German, Stephanie Cedillo and Juliet Kelso. In history, first prize, Benjamin Williams. And second prize, Jamie Wu. The Gaius C. Bolin 1889 Prize in Africana Studies. 
a cash prize established in memory of the first black graduate of Williams and prominent Poughkeepsie lawyer for the best scholarly work submitted by a Williams undergraduate in the field of Africana studies. We have two winners this year, Anna Pomper and Kiana West. The Russell H. Bostert Thesis Prize in History, awarded to an honor student for the best thesis in American history with special consideration to inter-American relations or Sino-American relations. This year's winner, Ian Concanon. The Ernest Brown Africana Arts Prize in appreciation of Ernest Brown's steadfast and inspired service to Africana Studies as a professor, as director of the Zambezi Marimba Band, and as co-director of COSICA. This cash prize is given to a senior whose work has shown unusual brilliance, imagination, and industry in the arts, especially the performing arts. And this year's winner, Eliza Dotton. The Kenneth L. Brown Class of 1947 Prize in American Studies, awarded annually to a senior majoring in American Studies. This year's recipient, Elowen Pfeiffer. <laughs> the Sterling A. Brown Class of 1922 Citizenship Prize, awarded to the graduating senior whose undergraduate experience reflects outstanding leadership high academic achievement and communication of new ideas with preference to members of the Black Student Union. This year's recipient, Valerie Oyakim Lemay. The Bullock Poetry Prize of the American Academy of Poets for excellence <laughs> in the composition of original poetry. This year's winner, Jordan Jace. The W. Marriott Canby 1891 Athletic Scholarship Prize to the senior who has the highest average in course and who has also represented the college in a recognized intercollegiate athletic contest. This year's winner, Anna Neufeld. <laughs> the Chaplain's Prize for commitment to and excellence in interfaith engagement and service awarded to a member of the graduating class whose spirited citizenship in the religious diversity of this learning community has enriched our common life and deepened our communal appreciation of faith and spiritual practice, secularity, and pluralism as instruments of learning and avenues of service to the community. We have two winners this year, Sarah Fleming and David Vascones. The Class of 1925 Scholar Athlete Award to that woman athlete whose commitment to excellence in athletics and scholarship is an inspiration to the Williams community. The recipient is selected by a committee that includes representatives of the athletics department, faculty, the graduating class, and the dean's office. This year's winner, Emily Sunquist. The James Bronson Conant and Nathan Russell Harrington Class of, of 1893 Prize in Biology. Established by the Class of 1893 in memory of two classmates, the prize is awarded by the department for outstanding work in biology. This year's winner, Hannah Weinstein. <laughs> the Cultivating Community Award. This award recognizes a senior committed to developing and building a stronger, more inclusive Williams College community. This senior works toward building bonds between students, developing deeper understanding between communities, and helping others to feel like they belong at Williams. This year's recipient, Valerie Oyakilame.
The Robert Daltzell Thesis Prize in History, awarded for a history thesis <laughs> that best exemplifies outstanding original research using primary sources. This year's winner, Kar Yern Chin. The Garrett Wright DeFries Class of 1932 Memorial Prize in Romance Languages, awarded by the Department of Romance Languages for Excellence in Spanish. This year's winner, Raisha Ismail. The Jean Donati Student Employment Award in Music, established in 1988 by colleagues and friends in recognition of Jean Donati's service to the music department in management of both office and concert operations from 1966 to 88. Awarded to a senior who has done the most for the music department as a student employee during their years at Williams. Congratulations to Kurt Frommer. The Dunbar Student Life Prizes, established by a bequest from Philip R. Dunbar, class of 1900, for a significant written work, published or unpublished, on any aspect of student life, focused on any local, national, or global issues affecting college or university students. We have nine winners. If you stand and then remain standing until I've read all nine, that would be great. We'll start with Daisy Banta. Merritt Bjornland. Monami Diaz Suzuki. Claudia Forrester. Sonia Gorenstein. Ayami Hatanaka. Charles Laror. Thomas Riley. And Johanna Wasserman. Congratulations. The Henry A. Dwight Class of 1829 Botanical Prize, awarded to the student who maintains the highest standing in botany or a related area of study. Congratulations to Peter Lucart. The Environmental Studies Committee Award for outstanding contributions to the environmental studies community at Williams. Two winners this year, Catherine Dix and Eleanor Lustig. The S. Lane Faison Jr. 1929 Prize. This prize is awarded to the student whose paper best reflects high standards in the critical engagement with an object of art. This year's winner, Krista Galev. The Nicholas P. Furson Prize in Russian, a book awarded annually by the Department of Russian to a student whose intellectual vitality and passion for Russian culture reflect the spirit of Nicholas Furson, professor of Russian at Williams from 1960 to 88. Congratulations to Andrew Blaniars. The Freeman Foote Prize in Geosciences, established by a group of Williams alumni to honor Professor Emeritus Freeman Foote. This award is presented to a student for an outstanding oral presentation of a senior thesis in geology. Congratulations to Timothy Nagel McNaughton. And the Robert W. Friedrichs Award in Sociology established in 1986 by parents of a graduating senior to be awarded to a senior major for excellence in sociology. Congratulations to Nicholas Dean. Yes! And a hearty round of applause for all of those prize winners. And we're back. With such a talented student body, why are we ranked 13th on Forbes? I mean, come on. <laughs> now, but next up, please join me in welcoming Dan Mays, our class historian, to the podium.
Hello. Someone much better at philosophy than me once said that change is the only constant. And after reflecting on these past four years at Williams College, I'd have to say that I agree. Some changes occurred gradually, like the restoration and addition of many buildings across campus, or like the slide from the top spot on the Forbes list in our first year to the 13th spot in the current iteration. On the other hand, some changes were much more rapid, like taking hold of our independence as first years, finding out who we are, what our interests are, and continuously reforming our outlook on the world through the new lens of the purple bubble. It's funny how we started our Williams career during orientation and what we affectionately call Camp Williams. And now we're ending our time here uh, at Williams College in Camp Williams 2.0, AKA Senior Week. For better or worse, much has changed over the past four years for students, faculty, staff, and the surrounding community. And here are some brief highlights. The class of 2018 got to see many new projects come to fruition during our time here. We saw the demolition of Old Sawyer and studied in the new Apple Store theme library behind me. Some of us got to live in Horn Hall, the most recent and controversially named uh, addition to residences on campus. The opening of the new bookstore introduced a new semesterly cycle of buying textbooks at the bottom of Spring Street and eventually selling them back to the sketchy van at the head of Spring Street. <laughs> While it was nice to see all the shiny new buildings on campus, I don't know if there was a day where we didn't see or hear construction going on somewhere. I mean, before coming to Williams, I didn't even know you could take an entire house and just move it someplace else. <laughs> Construction and other changes didn't stop with academic buildings. We saw much of our beloved downtown center evolve over the years, too. For a brief time, we had the newly restored log. Then when Hops and Vines closed, we lost it, but now it's back. <laughs> we were a little nervous when we heard Lickety would close due to the construction of the new Williams Inn, but were relieved when it ended up moving just about 100 yards up the street. <laughs> The addition of the bookstore also meant that we could choose to procrastinate and get our caffeine fix at Uptown or Downtown Tunnel. We witnessed the era where Papa Charlie's finally changed for being cash only and now accepts credit cards. <laughs> we saw the very literally named Sushi Thai change to the much more abstract Blue Mango, <laughs> even though it feels like essentially the same restaurant. Uh, and lastly, we saw the demise of the only chain restaurant on Spring Street, Rest in peace, Subway. It was a good run while it lasted. <laughs> Other changes were much more broad and in fact impactful to our daily lives on campus. On the national level, we saw a leadership change which has left many students, particularly students of color, uh, uh, fearful for their own well-being and their families too. On a much more local level, we saw a presidential change of our own here at Williams. Adam Fox's relocation to the Sloan Foundation gave the baton to a fellow physicist and interim president, Tiku Majumder. Then after a long search, we welcome Maude Mandel, who will be the school's 18th president be beginning July of this year. While our time as students here at Williams College is now ending, our impact on campus is not. The class of 2022 will be the first to experience the revolution of the junior advisor system on campus, a change that many from our class labored for. Additionally, the movement to instate an American studies major, an Asian American studies major, pardon me, has found much support from members of our class. Looking to the future, Looking to the future, even while away from Williamstown, we can work to have a positive impact for future classes. Through our donations and participation on boards and committees, we can strive to bring policies like need-blind admissions for international students and a, and, a no, and a no loan policy for financial aid recipients to campus. Let us look back on all that has changed or even that which has stagnated over the past four years to continue our class history as a positive force for years to come. Thank you. Thank you, Daniel. Now, please welcome back up to the podium, Dean Sandstrom, to award more prizes to the members of our graduating class. More prizes. Are you ready? The Gilbert W. Gabriel Class of 1912 Memorial Prize in Theater. It's established in 1963 by friends of Mr. Gabriel. The award is given to the senior who has made the most notable contribution to the advancement of theater at Williams. We have two winners this year. Congratulations to Evelyn Mann and John Scaletta.
The Sam Goldberg Colloquium Prize, established to honor students who have made the best colloquium presentations in mathematics and computer science. Our winner this year in computer science, Timothy Randolph. And in mathematics, we have two recipients, Christopher De Silva and Fan Yuen Chow. The Patricia Goldman Rakic Prize in Neuroscience, established in 2008 by Tony Ianiello and George Chusey, parents of Sarah Chusey, class of 2007, in recognition of Patricia Goldman Rakic for her contributions to the field of neuroscience and her support of neuroscience education at Williams College. Awarded to a student who has demonstrated exceptional achievement in research within the field of neuroscience. Congratulations to Jacob Sperber. The Frank C. Goodrich 1945 Award in Chemistry, established by Mrs. L. Carrington Goodrich to honor her son, Professor Frank C. Goodrich, 1945. An award in chemistry given each year to a student chosen by the chemistry faculty who has demonstrated excellence in chemistry research. This award supports travel to professional meetings where the student may present her research. Congratulations to Miranda Villanueva. The William C. Grant Jr. Prize in Biology. In honor of Professor Grant, who retired in 1991 from the biology department after 35 years of service. Awarded to the senior biology major, who has demonstrated the highest excellence and greatest insights in integrating different fields within the biological sciences. Congratulations to Rebecca Gorlov. The Arthur B. Graves Class of 1858 Essay Prizes. Prizes in a variety of fields to honor seniors who have written the best essays in these fields. In art, Krista Maria Ruseva. In economics, Michael Ding. In history, Benjamin Williams. In philosophy, Ethan Jacobs. In political science, Merritt Bjornland. In religion, Annika Guy. The Graves Prize for delivery of essay, for the best delivery of a paper or report in the field of political economy. We have seven recipients this year. Stephanie Bolger, Patrick Gordon, Michael Greenman, Daniela Hernandez, Ariel Rawlings, Christine Tamir, and Julia Yarek. The Frederick C. Hagedorn, Jr. Class of 1971 Pre-Medical Prize, awarded in recognition of academic achievement and the embodiment of the principles of the medical profession. Congratulations to Yelizaveta Lavrova. The G. Stanley Hall 1867 Prize in Psychology. Established in 2008 by Tony in Yellow and George Chusey, parents of Sarah Chusey, class of 2007, in recognition of G. Stanley Hall, 1867, a pioneer in the science of psychology. Known for establishing the first psychological research laboratory in the United States and serving as the first president of the American Psychological Association. Awarded to a student who has demonstrated exceptional achievement in research within the field of psychology. Congratulations to Catherine Flaherty. The Tom Hardy Class of 1978 Memorial Prize in Environmental Studies. Established by his family and friends to memorialize Tom Hardy, Class of 1978, this prize is awarded to the student who has done the best work 
in Environmental Studies. Congratulations to Natasha Barano. The C. David Harris, Jr. Class of 1963 Prize in Political Science. In memory of C. David Harris, Jr., 1963, who died during his college career. A book is awarded annually to the political science major who writes the best paper in political philosophy or empirical political science. The prize was donated by his classmates through the Williams College Social Council, of which David was a member and the winner is selected by the Political Science Department. This year's recipient, Alyssa Epstein. The Kate Hogan 25th Anniversary of Women in Athletics Award. To the senior woman who has distinguished herself in her commitment and contributions to the Department of Physical Education, Athletics, and Recreation. The winner will have engaged in any of the activities offered by the department and will have been an example of the joy and pleasure derived by participation in such activities. Congratulations to Carolyn Hogan. The Willard E. Hoyt, Jr. Class of 1923 Memorial Award, awarded to the senior male athlete whose spirit and superior efforts on behalf of Williams Athletics have been combined with deep academic interests. The selection committee consists of coaches, members of the faculty, the president of the Pur Purple Key Society, and a dean. Congratulations to Benjamin Decker. The Charles W. Hufford Book Prize. Established in 1988 in memory of Charles W. Hufford, 1989, by his family, friends, and classmates, and awarded to the student teaching assistant in political science who has served with the same high enthusiasm and excellence exhibited in that capacity by Charles Hufford. Congratulations to Christine Tamir. The Arthur Judson Prize in Music, established in 1984 by a gift from the Arthur Judson Foundation, this prize is given by the Department of Music for achievement in music, with a preference given to a student choosing or planning a career in music management or music administration. We have two recipients this year. Congratulations to Hannah Goodrick and Abigail Soloway. The Lawrence J. and Carolyn M. Kaplan Prize for dedication to and leadership in Williams College. Awarded to a senior who has shown sincere participation, responsibility, engagement, and menschlichkeit on behalf of the Williams Jewish community throughout her college career. Congratulations to Tamar Eisenberg. The Arthur Kaufman Class of 1899 Prize in English, a book prize given annually by the English department to a student who has done excellent work in English. Congratulations to Jasper Burgett. The Muhammad Kenyatta Class of 1966 Community Service Prize, awarded to a graduating senior Outstanding for Public Service. Congratulations to Anna Deloy. The William W. Kleinhandler Prize for Excellence in Music, established in 1991 in memory of Mr. Kleinhandler, 1950, as an annual prize for excellence by a student in the Department of Music. We have 13 recipients this year. Kendall Bazinet, Jonathan Berg, Michael Chen, John Ferguson, Daniel Fisher, Jeff Fisher, Ellery Galvin, Calvin Ludwig, Christine Pash, Ryan Patton, Kurt Frommer, <laughs> Tiffany Sun, and Bengi Wan.
Congratulations. The Robert M. Kozelka Prize in Statistics. In 2000, the new Department of Mathematics and Statistics established the annual Kozelka Prize in Statistics to recognize an excellent statistics student. The prize honors our former chair and statistician, Robert M. Kozelka, who was widely recognized for his applications of statistics in the social sciences, especially anthropology. We have two winners this year. Congratulations to Anna Neufeld and Hallie Wong. The Richard Krauss Prize in Political Science, awarded to a student who has done distinguished work in political science and who best exemplifies the intellectual and human qualities that characterize the life of Professor Krauss. Congratulations to Jack Greenberg. The Jack Larned Class of 1942 International Management Prize. In memory of Jack Larned, to honor students' papers dealing with development in private or public se sector in Africa, Asia, or Latin America to a student at the CDE. Congratulations to Naomi Mendina Yaudez. Richard Lathers, Class of 1877 Essay Prize in Government, a prize given to that senior who writes the best essay of fewer than 1,000 words on the duty or relation of citizens to government. We have two winners this year. Congratulations to Divya Lakshmi Samput and Madeline Walsh. The Linen Senior Prize in Asian Studies. Three prizes to graduating seniors who achieve distinction and show outstanding promise. One prize to an Asian Studies major, one prize each to any senior, whether a major in the Department of Asian Studies or not, who has taken Chinese language and Japanese language during their Williams career. For Asian Studies, Tung Ki Park. For Chinese, Zihan Yi. And for Japanese, Julia Cancio. The Linen Senior Thesis Prize in Asian Studies, prize to a graduating senior who writes an outstanding honors thesis with a substantial focus on Asia. Congratulations to Morris Reeves. The H. Gans Little Junior Prize in Religion, established in 1997 by former students to honor Professor Little, who taught in the religion department at Williams from 1963 to 97, to be awarded to a senior major for excellence in the study of religion. Congratulations to Norma Rodriguez. The David N. Major Class of 1981 Memorial Prize in Geosciences, established to honor David Major, who died in an accident aboard an oceanographic vessel in 1980, awarded to an outstanding graduating senior in geology. Congratulations to Andrew Blaniarts. The Nancy McIntyre Prize in Women's, Gender, and Sexuality Studies, awarded annually at Class Day to the graduating student who has made the most impressive contributions to Women's, Gender, and Sexuality Studies. Congratulations to Ayami Hatanaka. The Leverett Mears Prize in Chemistry, awarded to a senior majoring in chemistry who's been admitted to graduate study in the medical sciences or medical school, and who, in the opinion of the chemistry faculty, has had a distinguished record in chemistry and shows outstanding promise. Congratulations to Elisaveta Lavrova. The Willis I. Millam Prize in Astronomy, established in 1968 by Betsy M. Millam, a cash prize is awarded to a senior who is majoring in science or mathematics, is a member of Phi Beta Kappa, 
and has a grade of A in at least one year course in the Department of Astronomy. Congratulations to Timothy Nagel McNaughton. The John W. Miller Prize in Philosophy awarded to an outstanding philosophy student each year. This year's recipient, Angela Sung Huang Yeo. The Morgan Prize in Mathematics to a senior major for accomplishment and promise in applied mathematics, statistics, or mathematics teaching. This year's winner, Daniel Mays. Congratulations to this incredible group of recipients. As SpongeBob would say, Mr. Sun came out and he smiled at, no, 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 no. <laughs> now, okay, but as class officers, we wanna make sure you guys are safe. So we do wanna make sure you guys are still hydrated. So can we get like a 10 second uh, water break real quick? If you do have a water bottle. No? Fine, fine, all right. Next up, our class musician, Anna Deloy, with my entry mate, Shout out M2, Abigail Soloway on the violin.
That was incredibly be beautiful. Okay, next. The Louise J. Ober Theater Award in Creativity. Awarded to a senior who has shown notable creativity in theatrical work in such areas as role interpretation, play production, writing, and community formation. Congratulations to Sophia Smith. The James Orton Award in Anthropology, established in commemoration of James Orton, 1855, a naturalist and explorer, to be awarded to a senior major for excellence in anthropology. We have two recipients this year, Tassin Alam and Juliet Kelso. The Ursula Prescott Essay Prize in Political Science. From a bequest to the political science department given by Ursula Prescott, a Williamstown resident who audited many political science classes in her retirement. A cash prize is awarded to the senior who writes the best essay on international relations or comparative politics. Congratulations to Danielle Greer. The Purple Key Trophy, awarded to a senior male and senior female athlete who are letter winners and who best exemplify leadership, team spirit, ability, and character. Awarded by the Director of Athletics, the President of the Purple Key Society, two members of the athletic faculty, and one faculty member. From Men's Athletics, this year's winner, Tobias Mullers. For women's athletics, we have two winners this year, Danielle Sim and Emma Waddell. The James Lathrop Rice Class of 1854 Prize in Classical Languages, awarded for distinguished work in Latin or Greek. Congratulations to Alexander Kilman. The Robert F. Rosenberg Prize in Environmental Studies, awarded to member of the graduating class in recognition of outstanding scholarship, potential for solving local, national, or international environmental problems, and strong prospects for leadership in the environmental community. This year's recipient, Natalie Deneno. The Robert F. Rosenberg Prize for Excellence in Mathematics, established in 1991 from a bequest of Mr. Rosenberg, class of 1937, and awarded by the Mathematics Department. There are three recipients this year. Congratulations to Sumin Iyer, Arjun Kakar, and Daishiro Nishida. The Bruce Sanderson Class of 1956 Prize in Architecture, established in memory of Mr. Sanderson, who died while serving in the U.S. Navy. It is awarded to the senior who, in the opinion of the faculty teaching architecture, shows the greatest achievement and promise in the field. Congratulations to Jeremiah Yerem Kim. The Ruth Scott Sanford Memorial Prize in Theater, awarded to a senior with a demonstrated ability in the theater, with preference to someone who intends graduate study in theater. We have three winners this year. Tara Ihijator, <laughs> Scott Lippman, and Michael Tara Passionitz. The John E. Sawyer Prize in Transnational and Non-Western History. This prize is periodically awarded by the Department of History to a graduating history major who has written and defended a thesis that demonstrates excellence in the field of transnational or non-Western history. Congratulations to Julia McDonnell Nieto Del Rio. The Sheffy Award. This award, in the name of Lewis and Andrew J.W. Sheffy, 
the first director of the Center for Envi Environmental Studies, is given in recognition of outstanding environmental leadership. Congratulations to Erica Chang. The Robert C. L. Scott Prize in History, established by former students of Professor Scott to honor his years of service at Williams. It's awarded for the best senior honors thesis in the fields of American or European history. Congratulations to Thomas Riley. The Robert C. L. Scott Prize for Graduate Study in History, established by former students of Professor Scott, awarded to a senior honors student in history who plans graduate work in the field of American or European history. Congratulations to Sophie Wunderlich. <laughs> the Sentinels of the Republic Essay Prize in Government, awarded by the Political Science Department to the student who has written the best essay on some subject related to the American federal system of government. Congratulations to Emily Sonier. <laughs> the Shirin Shakir 2003 Prize in Political Science, established in 2006 in memory of Shirin Shakir, class of 2003, awarded each year to the student writing the best essay from an international relations senior seminar. Congratulations to Devin Flynn. The Edward Gould Shumway Class of 1871 Prize in English, awarded to the senior majoring in English, who in the judgment of the English faculty has done the most distinguished work in English literature and composition. Congratulations to Samuel Swire. The James F. Skinner Prize in Chemistry, in memory of Professor Skinner, who taught at Williams from 1966 to 88, awarded to a senior chemistry major who plans graduate study, has a distinguished record in chemistry, and shows outstanding promise for teach teaching and scholarship. This year's recipient, Daniel Brandis. <laughs> Eliza Smith Rhetorical Prize, established in the year 1866, this cash prize is awarded each year to encourage excellence in public speaking. Congratulations to Morris Coleman. The Social Justice Advocate Award. This award recognizes a senior who in their time at Williams has demonstrated a commitment to action toward access, equity, and inclusion at Williams and elsewhere. This senior works towards challenging systems of injustice, embraces a broad definition of diversity and social justice, and drives ongoing conversation regarding these issues. A big congratulations to Ezekiel King Phillips. <laughs> the Howard P. Stabler Prize in Physics, awarded to the student who has demonstrated initiative, creativity, perseverance and achievement, especially in a senior thesis. The award is named for Professor Emeritus Howard Stabler, who was an active member of the Williams community. It was established in gratitude for Professor Stabler's excellent direction of so many honors theses in physics over the years. Congratulations to Emily Stump. The Shirley Stanton Prize in Music, established in 1982 by family and friends in memory of Shirley Stanton, who served the college community through the music department and the conference office, awarded to the student who has best fulfilled their potential in music while at Williams. Congratulations to Anna Deloy. The Stanley R. Strauss Class of 1935 Prize in English. Established in 1985 by the Friends of Stanley Strauss, the award recognizes that senior majoring in English who has written the most outstanding critical honors thesis in terms of both content and style. Congratulations to Jasper Burgett. 
The William Bradford Turner Class of 1914 Prize in History, awarded for the best thesis or essay in the field of American history or institutions. This year's recipient, Hannah Antonellis. The Laszlo G. Versenyi Memorial Prize, in memory of Laszlo G. Versenyi, Mark Hopkins Professor of Intellectual and Moral Philosophy, who taught at Williams from 1958 to 88. This is a cash prize awarded by the philosophy department to a senior who is planning to attend graduate school in philosophy. Special consideration is given to students who plan to make Latin, Greek, or German a part of their continuing study of philosophy in recognition of Professor Versenyi's brilliant abilities in those languages. Congratulations to Noah Betts Richman. The Benjamin B. Wainwright Class of 1920 Prize in English, awarded to the student who has written the best short story. The award is judged by a committee of the English department. This year's winner, Karen Kumar. The Ward Prize for Best Project in Computer Science. Established in 2015 from a fund given by Rich Ward, the prize is awarded annually to the student who, while exhibiting substantial technical depth, develops the most innovative and creative project in computer science during the academic year. Congratulations to Carl Rustad. The David A. Wells Prize in Political Economy. From a bequest of David A. Wells, 1847, a prize is awarded for an essay upon a subject in political economy. This year's recipient, Ziki Liu. The Carl E. Weston Class of 1896 Prize for Distinction in Art. Awarded to a senior art major whose work has shown unusual brilliance, imagination, and industry. In Art Studio, Jordan Jones. In Art History, Catherine Priest. In Art History and Practice, Alexandra Scarangella. The Witty Problem Solving Prize. It's spelled differently. <laughs> Awarded to a mathematics student who has demonstrated creativity and ingenuity in solving challenging mathematical questions appearing either in class or in related activities. Congratulations to Min Tuan Chen. And finally, the Whiskiel Williams Math Award, established in 2007 by Matthew Walter Whiskiel, 1991, and Christina Williams Whiskiel, 1994, in honor of Matthew's mother, Louisa Jamison Whiskiel, a longtime middle school math teacher. The Mathematics and Statistics Department awards a cash prize to a student who has expressed an interest in teaching mathematics. Congratulations to Edward Lauber. Congratulations to all of our prize and fellowship and scholarship recipients. To all of our winners, I offer my congratulations and admiration for your fine work. I would also extend those congratulations and that admiration to all of you who are here today for your many accomplishments, recognized and unrecognized, personal and public. I know that many different roads have led you all here to this day, the eve of commencement, to this place, and that these roads have had rough parts as well as smooth. I admire all of you for negotiating them. I would also like to take this opportunity to say thank you. Thank you on behalf of the college, its faculty, its staff, administrators, for sharing these past four years with us. We are all incredibly honored to have shared this part of your journey with you. We'll now sing two versions, I'm sorry, two verses, <laughs> one version, two verses of the mountains. Following the song, please 
Join me and your class officers and your official watch droppers in front of Thompson Chapel for the dropping of the watch. Enjoy your celebration this week, and I wish you the best as you step into your future. Congratulations. Thank you, Dean Sandstrom. Now for the most exciting part of the program where you get to lift up your voice and pretend that you're singing in the shower, we are going to sing the mountains. If you do not know the words to the mountains, they're located on page three of the program. You will be led in song by the class of 2018 a cappella members and choir members. One, two, three. the mountains. That, I'm, I'm not. I'll be honest. I was a J. They made us remember this song, but I, yeah. For the acapella choir leaders. Okay. Ah, uh, yes, acapella and uh, choir members, please come to the stage <laughs> or podium. We need you. Come on, the, the class needs you. Come on, Chris. Do you need a note? Oh, right, right, right. This microphone. <laughs> 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 yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> do you want a note? B flat. Do you want a note? Do the B flat. <laughs> concludes the Ivy exercises for the graduating class of 2018. Thank you to College Marshal Jay Toman, Director of Commencement and Academic Events Carrie Green, Commencement Coordinator Veronica Bosley, and the exceptional folks and facilities for all their hard work in making this event possible.